Hey there, book nerds of the internet. Welcome to Confab with Abs. Today I'm going to be going over the five books that I'm definitely going to be reading in August. I hope to be read more than this, but these are the ones that I'm most excited about. So first I have Xenocide by Orson Scott Card. I've actually already started reading this one, but I haven't finished it yet, so it gets to count for August, I suppose. So Xenocide is the book that comes after Speaker for the Dead, which is the sequel for Ender's Game. And for those of you who don't know, these books are very different from Ender's Game. Ender's Game is all about this coming-of-age story as this kid fights buggers and it's really exciting, action-packed, really fast. These books are not like that at all. These books are much slower, still has a lot of tension, a lot of intrigue, a lot of drama, but they're much more about relationships, and it's an adult now dealing with adult problems and dealing with people this time. They're very, very good, and I'm really excited to see what twists and turns I still have coming for me in this one. Next, I have Reaper Man by Terry Pratchett. Terry Pratchett is one of my favorite authors. For those of you who don't know, Terry Pratchett is a British author who writes in the Discworld. Each book is kind of a standalone book, and it, there are a couple main characters that you can see in three or four books, but for the most part they're pretty different. But when you see a main character in one book, you could end up seeing him as a side character in another book, which is really fun because then you get to see that personality again. And depending on what order you read them in, you might actually know that character as a side character before you know them as a main character. So it's really, really fun. I'm reading chronologically. You really don't have to. I'm excited for this one because Death is going to be the main character and Terry Pratchett's rendition of Death is super cool. So look out for that one. Next, I have A Nazi Boys by Neil Gaiman. For those of you who saw my video of my favorite books of this year, I talked about American Gods. This one is kind of like a sequel to that book. A side character in that book is the main character in this book. Neil Gaiman is one of my other favorite British authors, so awesome. I'm not sure what this book is about, but I mean the cover looks awesome. So, I'm gonna read it! Next, I have S by J.J. Abrams and Doug Dorse. This is the J.J. Abrams who's a film director. He directed the two new Star Trek movies. He's doing the new Star Wars movie. He did Super 8. He was executive producer and wrote a few episodes of Lost, so that's who he is. Obviously, J.J. really likes action and mystery and all sorts of fun different elements. He's also a very good storyteller, so I'm really excited for the story involved in this one, especially because there are multiple stories involved. It's called S, but the book says Ship of Theseus, and it looks like a library book. What's interesting about this one is it's not just the story of what the author wrote in terms of a normal book, right, like that, but it actually has all kinds of notes in the margin, and so you get to read multiple stories at once. You get to read the story of the book, and then you get to read the story of the two readers who are reading the book and writing notes to each other. Crazy, right? So this one's really exciting too. Last, I'm reading Far From a Matting Crowd. I'm reading it digitally so I don't have a book to show you. I haven't read too much Tom Hardy and I hear that this book is extremely beautifully written. Like, if you could Instagram it, you would. All I know about it is it follows a girl named Bathsheba and uh, Farmer Oak and their kind of relationship interactions. I'm not sure. I'm sure there'll be plenty of drama and romance and intrigue and bad decisions and good decisions, so we'll see how that one goes. So that's it. Those are the five I absolutely have to read. I'll try to let you know in the wrap-up video if I end up reading more, and I certainly hope I do. Let me know what you're reading, and subscribe down below so you can see other tag videos and haul videos that I'll be posting shortly. Thank you so much for coming. See you next time.